as the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has said, water is life. Water is in the center of development. And for that, we really have to make sure that water gets an appropriate place among the uh, goals for the sustainable development in the next 10, 20 years. Water is there for health, f uh, produce energy, produce food, in order to um, have a good sanitation system, good drinking water has to be provided. All that has to be reflected in a dedicated water goal. Also, looking into the effects water has on other goals and other goals have on water. Well, the problem is that the energy people think water is there all the time, and plenty of water, no problem to use it. And in the environment, you have the issue with the pollution, so you have to be careful in uh, properly cleaning the water, properly using it. In some areas, you don't have sufficient water. In others, you have too much water. All this has to be properly equilibrated in order to have a good water supply for everybody at any time. We are moving towards the articulation of a new development agenda to replace the Millennium Development Goals post-2015. And for the first time, water is very prominently featured among the Sustainable Development Goals. It's actually Sustainable Development Goal number six out of 17. So I think we need to get everybody together, not just government, but the managers of the, the water authorities, the, the um, stakeholders, and the international community to understand the unique challenges that we face um, as small island developing states and to really fashion solutions that are unique to us and crucially to be able to mobilize the resources um, to deal with not just water storage but also water distribution and, and look at water in all its segments. Our islands are not dissimilar in, in that we are small island states. We all have vulnerabilities in respect to climate change and, and waste water management. And so being together, coming together, we can share those experiences. We can exchange ideas and views on it. And going into the future, we could forge relationships where we can assist one another in the sustainable development of water management. Many of us, I mean, well, throughout the region, we're all struggling with the same issues with regard to water security, whether it is too little rain, whether it is too much rain. The issue of climate change is affecting all of us, and we, within the Caribbean region, are one of the most vulnerable as small island developing states with regard to the negative impacts of, of climate change. And to be able to share experiences, share ideas, um, potential solutions as to how to adapt to these changing climatic conditions is of significant value. Water security also links at three areas that we really need to combine and cannot disassociate, and that is water security, food security, and energy security. These three areas are all um, interlinked, and as we look at our, not only our development, our base survival, um, these three components um, require significant attention. Water, it is said, is a prerequisite for all forms of life. And there is a virtual water bankruptcy in the context of collecting it, harvesting it, and treating with it. And that therefore, we must come together as a Caribbean uh, regional institution in order to share our stories, to see how we bring about solutions and what are our challenges, what are the strengths we can provide, what are the opportunities that are there. My own sense of it, uh, there's an ancient Chinese proverb that says, water is the blood of the earth. Water we've taken for granted um, over the years not realizing that it's a, a resource that if not managed properly, we might as well uh, lose it. Or uh, it may be priced to a level where people may not be able 
uh, to enjoy um, the, the benefits of, 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 of water. And as leaders, um, ministers responsible, we need to keep abreast with the, the, the changing environment, uh, especially with issues such as, as, as climate change and the developments taking place in the water sector outside our various jurisdictions. As they say, coming together is a start. Sticking together is progress. So in that regard, I'm very happy that the Caribbean Islands have come together to discuss this very urgent and important sector or sectors, water and sanitation. It is of the utmost importance, especially with what is going on with climate change, because we are now in uncharted waters climate change, and I'm not talking about climate variability, I'm talking about climate change, is with us in a very telling way. I want to be involved in sharing the experiences and learning from my brothers and sisters in, in the Caribbean.